Welcome to round three, and I cannot fathom why I would mulligan this hand. I mean, I do have only two lands, but look at this: blood artist, multiple turn two guys, and this thing, and this thing. Yep, I'm gonna keep that. <clears throat> so scroll of Avicen, huh? From that, I take that he actually has a couple of angels in his deck. Man, that guy's annoying. Let's make sure he cannot attack with it by playing a Butcher Gold. If he wants to throw his guy in front of a Butcher Gold, he can. Huh. Call to serve. Yeah, that, that might just be problematic, I guess. And he's even an angel now. Sure, he's at up to 25. Yeah, I think... <laughs> I might end up losing to that thing. Either way, let's go ahead and play this beater. Attack. Let's hope he doesn't have another creature here to, to bond. Yeah, but that is impossible, isn't it? Yeah, he's up to <laughs> 27 life. Jesus, in 30 life now. Yeah, this is. Isn't really working the way I wanted it to. Ooh. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna get my ass served to me here, huh? Yep. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can raise that, actually. I have to... To find a... A removal spell like ASAP here. Yeah, that was the one one card he, he couldn't have. To <laughs> Jesus Christ! So he's up to thirty-two now. Is that it? All right, that's pretty aggressive. Either way, let's go ahead and attack. Right? No reason for him to block. Yeah, we have to just top deck a removal spell here. Otherwise, we are going to be screwed. <laughs> Look at that. Jesus Christ, man. This guy has a mono eye deck? That's like my dream come true. <laughs> Ooh, alright. The problem here is, obviously, that we... Cannot do anything about him equipping this guy in bashiness at this point, so it's just too little, too late, I guess. So let's just go ahead and bash, bash, and bash. And bash, why not? It's not blocking, I don't think so. The problem here is that he's going to have exactly the amount of damage necessary to to kill us here because I could deathwind something. All right, I could deathwind something and gain one life thanks to the blood artist. Yeah. Ooh. All right. For a second there, I thought he might not attack with this thing. Oh, but he has to attack because of the trident, right? So if I do this, he loses one. Yeah. That was a pretty nasty <laughs> run there he had. He does have enchantments though, which... I mean, auras. At least one aura. Alright, human frailty, getting there. Uh, mental agony, not really. Yeah, I think... The only card that I want to bring in is human frailty. And Scott and Devil seems ridiculously bad in that matchup since he gained so much life. Let's go ahead and submit like this. Yeah, I still would like to play first and still wouldn't like to do anything here. This way, if he has a turn 2 guy, a turn 2 2 1 guy, and follows that up with an enchantment, we can just death wind it and, like, in response, and get a 2 for 1 and even gain one life and drain him, I mean, drain him for 1, right? Nah. Yeah, 
I still kind of need to <laughs> do something here to draw into stuff. All right, angelic wall. No problem. Hmm. Let's go ahead and play a soul cage feat. No reason to play the demonic taskmaster at this point. Let's see what he has to follow up that angelic wall here. All right, cathedral sanctifier. Hmm. Blue that is number two. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and not attack here. Ooh, mid vest protector. All right. Still no problem. The fact that we have two blood artists here should count for something, I hope. Holy. All right. So, how do I maximize this body and blood here? I mean, I'm still a long way from being able to, to actually cast it. But it's not like he can attack either way, right? Since... See what he has here. Sure. Sure, I can live with that. He cannot attack. Ooh, exterminator. Still cannot do anything, but whatever. Let's let him put a human token there on the battlefield. Maybe we can capital capitalize in actually getting to kill his human tokens and ah jeez yes so <laughs> it seems we, we really are not gonna be able to, to win this one here sure let's go ahead and attack with the soul, soul cage demon The problem here is we will not be able to <laughs> to death win his his wall since he's gonna put a creature on, onto the battlefield and pump it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, let me just put it that way. I'm I'm getting my ass served to me here at this point. So I guess we can just play a demonic task mage here, right? Yeah, that is not going to end well. If he attacks, he's saying, well, well, welcome to your doom. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the most fun games that I have played in a while, even though I, I'm having my, my ass served to me here. <sighs> Jeez. So what do I do? Let's see have to sack something so let's go ahead and sack this guy right yep all right we can at least try right to do something here though I don't think we're going to really be able to <laughs> So let's go ahead and attack. I suppose he will not block with his wall since he may suspect I'm onto something here. Which means that I can still very well win this game, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and play a Soul Cage Fiend. Maybe. Yeah, Soul Cage Fiend seems fine. That's what I actually want to sacrifice come my turn here. He can bash me for a bunch here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage. A bunch more if he plays something here. Oh, he's just gonna equip? Probably to his mid vest protector? Maybe to a human token? Yeah, the mid vest protector. Sure, I'm just gonna chomp with my soul cage fiends. I mean, am I? Let's see, if I take 7, 8, 9, 10, 16, yeah, I cannot afford to take 16 here. Which means that I'll have to sack a blood artist, and that is not really what I want to be doing here. Yeah, I got, you know, 
I'm in a problem. <laughs> so let's think for a second. If we block one of his humans, we can gain a bunch of life here, right? We can take like 7, uh, 10, 13. Yes, I think it's better for us to actually do, do like this. Because this way we can drain him for a bit more here. Problem is that he will actually be able to block my... Alright. So let's do this. And this. Yeah, I think I may win here still. I think I can win. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that, that is gonna be... Let's see, I drain him for two, he goes to four and I play a battle in blood. And I drain him for exactly four. <laughs> Holy... <laughs> Man, this... Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and try it. Did we get it? <laughs> let's wait for his response here. It seems it's actually his doom, not mine. <laughs> Come on. Alright. <laughs> Alright, best game I've played in Magic Online ever, probably. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try <laughs> to... Oh, jeez. You know what? I, I don't think I even need to, to end this this last game here, because this is already... I mean, he, he should just have considered the match here. <laughs> Alright, let's... Could bring in, like, this thing. Let's take a look here if there's anything we, we want to take out. I don't think there is actually. Uh, butter and blood, and really not. We could take out a driver. Yeah, maybe we will be able to make him sack a bunch of creatures with this thing. Yeah, let's give it a try. I mean, his deck is so much consistent than mine. So so much more consistent than mine. That. All right, let's go ahead and ball. <sighs> I don't think I'm going down to five. Oh, he chose to play last. Oh boy. Yeah, that might prove problematic here at this point. We need to draw into a, a swamp here to play this guy turn 3 and be able to do something here. Alright, Thunderbolt, if he plays a wall, maybe we are Thunderbolt in it. No, near Heart Pilgrim, sure. Alright, we did not draw into our land. Let's hope he actually enchants his, his Pilgrim here. Then we can Thunderbolt it. Get a nice 2 for 1. Alright. He didn't, instead he just equipped it. Sure. Alright, we still did not draw into a Swamp. Come on, I, I really deserve to, <laughs> to win this match. If he actually does that, I think I still have a shot. Ooh, alright. Excellent. Let's hope he doesn't have a way to protect his guy. But at this point, we are just simply gonna do that. If he has a way to protect his guy, I think we're in trouble, but he did not. So let's draw into a swamp now. Just in time? Nah. Alright. Oh, he doesn't have anything. Ooh, Swamp. Now, what I want here, actually, is to, next turn, draw into an, another land. It can even be a mountain, so that I can start dealing 8 in the air each turn to his face. Alright. That guy. Sure. He can equip it. I gotta admit that this guy's deck is pretty cool, though. Alright, Soul Cage Fiends, so that means that I cannot really play anything here. Come on, one more land for us, and we can start doing serious amounts of damage to his face. 
5 damage. Ooh, is that the enchantment? I suppose it is. Oh, Alright, Spectral Gate card I'm not that scared about. He did not bond, right? Yeah, because this guy already has Vigilance. Oh man, come on. Can't I get a break here? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and bash. Let's hope he doesn't have anything to play here, which I think it's probably impossible. Uh, I guess I wanna discard this thing, since I do not see myself playing it this game. Alright, Cathar's Crusade. I'm actually not that scared of that right now. Because if I manage to draw one land here, I can end this game in two turns. And there we go. Alright. Let's do this. See if he has a flyer. If he does, we cannot end the game next turn. But if he doesn't... Oh, I see. See what you did there. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, he did not attack. That was a, a, a mistake, I think. Which is awesome for us. Ooh, Deathwind, huh? So the question here is, do we attack? If we attack, he's down to 6. He's down to 6, and then we... We die. <laughs> we can play like an undead, undead executioner, but I really wanted to, to get his guy here before he could do anything about it. This way we will take Vigilance away. I think, to be perfectly honest here, that our best shot is actually attacking and hoping he doesn't have anything here because... I mean, another creature, because if he doesn't have another creature, we can just Deathwind this guy and he will not gain life, we will be down to two and then we can kill him next turn, right? Or we can play something like a Mad Prophet, but that... Yeah, like, playing any creature here does exactly the same because he will still get to, to do damage to me, so I guess I just cannot play anything and I guess I should attack because if I lose this demon here I'm not going to win this game so I have to hope he doesn't have a creature out of his four cards in his hand and we have to discard something here, let's go ahead and discard what? I guess let's see a soul cage feed But apparently he does have a creature, and it's an angelic wall, huh? Alright, so he's able to deal exactly... Alright, not exactly 12 damage trees. Ooh, is he really gonna do that? Let's see. The problem is, if I actually kill his guy in response here, not much happens, right? Let's think our options out here. If we actually we have to kill it in response, otherwise he we won't be able to kill it thanks to the bracers. And the problem here is he still have he still has an angelic wall. So I think he's gonna attack with this thing and this thing probably. But now with this thing. Yeah, yeah, nah, he's going to attack with this thing either way. So I think we actually have to do this and just hope he doesn't just hope either empty your bugs or he forgets to attack. <laughs> oh well let's go ahead and do it. He's still gonna get to kill us. Alright. <laughs> Alright, that was an interesting game to at least I, I still feel like if I had drawn into some extra lands here, I would, I would have been able to, <laughs> to get to kill him. Alright, that was awesome either way. So thanks for watching.